everyone welcome back to cyber sky tv uh, this week we're gonna talk about how to install the bridges uh, to bypass the censorship uh, if it's like you know imposed by the by the isp or by the country uh, in the in the previous video we did talk about like how can the isp detect if the traffic is coming from the tor browser uh, so we are going to try to uh, defeat it of course for my uh, like you know uh, where i am uh, i don't see that uh, being blocked out but maybe some of you are trying at home uh, might have the issues so i wanted to talk about and and and, uh, and show you how the bridges could help us uh, so so here if you see uh, this is the Tor client, like a Tor browser we have. Uh, so instead of traffic going directly to the relay, we have this bridge in between, uh, which is going to relay our traffic uh, to the real node or the Tor node. So uh, and, and obfuscate the traffic. So uh, the ISP who is trying to uh, inspect the packet or also trying to uh, see the traffic, they will not be able to figure it out if the traffic is actually coming from the Tor or the usual browser. So now if we look at this uh, real quick, uh, yeah, so here, so bridge, so you, you first want to go to bridges.torproject.org uh, and then options. So bridge, we can provide bridges with the several uh, pluggable transport. We did talk about the trans uh, pluggable transport last week, so I'm not going to repeat, uh, which can help you obfuscate the connections to the Tor network, making it more difficult for anyone watching your internet traffic to determine that you're using Tor. So that's exactly what we need. Some bridges with IPv6 addresses are also available, though some pluggable transport aren't IPv6 compatible. Additionally, BridgeDB has plenty of uh, plain all vanilla bridges without any pluggable transport, which maybe doesn't sound as cool, but they can still help to circumvent internet censorship in many cases. So there are two ways you can get those bridges. One, but by just clicking on this green button and, and it will I'll show you how, how to configure that. And, and the second is, uh, of course, you need some advanced options like IPv6 and if you need to select any other pluggable transport, you can also go via this. If you are just starting off, like uh, try with this one, uh, with the green badge, let's say for some reason, and sometimes ISP would also check this traffic. When you click on this, uh, the traffic will go to the ISP and they, they think, uh, and they will see that this traffic is coming for the Tor bridge. They will also block this. So maybe you don't have a way to get the bridges this way. So the second option is, I need alternative way of getting my bridges. So you can do it via email. So another way to get, uh, get the bridge is by sending this email, uh, leave the email subject empty and write get transport obfs4 in the email message body and then and make sure you send the email from either recep or gmail so what i've done is here is the uh, email that i had sent uh, probably like you know an hour ago uh, a recording of this video uh, just to show you uh, and yeah the response should be quick I, I i got the response like maybe in couple or maybe less than a minute so yeah as soon as you write that uh, you will get the bridge information uh, which you can use or you can also use uh, from here. So now let's let me click here. Uh, let me try to get this right. Captcha. Uh, G is capital. Okay. All right. So now I uh, I've got the bridge bridge lines. Now how to get started is first you need to install the and download the Tor browser which we already did, uh, and then you can copy so select all copy go to this and yeah if you refresh just to make sure like your tor connection is working fine okay so i've got this ip address next what i'll do is i'll go to the settings i'll go to the tor and i'll say yes bridge i want to use a bridge provide a bridge right we already have bridge information okay so we have provided it i think it looks all good so I'll go back check everything and now if you refresh uh, the connection it should still say like you have still you're still connected and yeah uh, of course there will be slight delay in the traffic or, or the response because now the traffic is going through the bridge instead of direct to our network uh, but yeah uh, this will help you at least bypass the censorship uh, and this way you can still connect to the dark web uh, using Tor now if this option does not work uh, i i do have another option to show uh, probably next week I'll, I'll try to cover it uh, but yeah uh, hopefully this option should work most of you uh, in case there is any failure let me know in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you out 
um, I think that's it for this this video I want to keep it very short but do try this out uh, and and make sure you have uh, you are able to connect with the Tor network and and if not maybe by using the bridge uh, do explore other like you know bridge configuration see which one works best for you uh, probably we are we're gonna use that heavily in the in the future episodes where uh, we are actually going to access some of the dark web okay so that's it uh, thank you so much for your time i'll see you guys next week